The best meatballs you can bring to a party are the homemade meatballs. Check out how I made these Chipotle meatballs. All right, our first step and most important step, we're gonna go in with a half cup of plain breadcrumbs. Put that in the bowl. You know, usually I don't measure things out, but today we're measuring things out. Now we're gonna use half cup of whole milk. Now the Dano Chipotle, that's the maroon top. We're gonna use a nice handful, about that much. After you get it mixed up, You'll notice that it's very runny. What you have to do right here is let this sit for five minutes. All right, so check it out. It's been six or seven minutes and look how it thickens up like that. That is what we want. So now we're gonna take this and we're gonna add it into our meat. Two pounds of 80-20. Two eggs. That's pretty good. Get you some gloves on and we mix. Hold on, what'd you say? Did I hear you say something? Yeah, I agree. More Danos Chipotle? Do me a favor there, Jason, and sprinkle generously. That should do. Thank you, Jason. Cause you can never have enough Danos. Now this part's real easy. Roll them up into little balls and we cook them. Just like that. Do you know how to tell if somebody's meatballs are homemade or not? Well, if they're all the same size, they're probably not homemade. If they're different sizes like mine, Yep, they're putting some love in it. Let's fire it up and I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of avocado oil. We're gonna keep this on a medium to medium low temperature. We're not trying to go too fast. We wanna get a perfect sear on each side and then we're gonna let them slow simmer in the sauce. Give them a little shake. You can always use your tongs to get the stragglers that didn't turn on you. Make sure you get a sear on each side so if there's any that hadn't gotten a sear, you give it another minute or two. Worried about that 11 minute mark. You can see they're crispy on all sides. Now we're gonna add the sauce. I'm using Ridgeman sauce. It's the sweet Chipotle. I met this guy at Dale Hollow Lake and he was trying to package this. I gave him a little help along the way. So it would be cool if you guys wanted to share a little love and go try a bottle for yourself, the sweet Chipotle. Now I just give it a little shake, get them all nice and coated. Put a lid on it, let them simmer for maybe five to 10 minutes and they're ready. All right. We've simmered for about 10 minutes. It's ready to serve these bad boys. We'll put them right into our serving tray or a crock pot. Get all that sauce in there, give it a shake. All right, my friends. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see how we did. Mm -mm -mm. The perfect bite, the perfect amount of breadcrumbs where it's not mushy, it's got texture. And that flavor of the Chipotle that's a 10 out of 10. That sauce with the Dano's Chipotle, that should be illegal. Wow, y'all. Give that a try. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time, my friends. Keep sprinkling. Mm. Mm.